Hello, everybody. Welcome to part 58 of Let's Play Dark Souls, picking up truly right where we left off from last time. I literally just finished recording the last episode. And like I said, we're on a marathon. I am determined to finish this before Elden Ring comes up. And that means I got a lot of recording to do. So no time to slack. So now we're in everybody's favorite dark level, Tomb of the Giants, um, made especially worse because of all the glare I'm experiencing. But we have cast light. So that's fine. And just like that, we essentially have the Sunlight Maggot. Um, which I'm going to leave on it because I want to make sure we see Solaire get uh, victimized by it this time. And oh, look at that. We two shot these guys and get the stagger. So I think it's going to go very smoothly. Um, our goal here is. And let me actually check. Do I have the Silver Serpent drink? Because that's like the main thing I'd want to grab. In this level, yeah. So don't have to get that again. I am literally only caring about just getting to the boss and being done with this freaking place. Don't need no items. Don't need nothing. Okay, okay. That was a little close, <laughs> but not too bad. Now I think we go this way. And here's trusty old patches. Um, I believe there's a bonfire first that we can grab. And I don't think it's this way. I think it's like, is that it right there? Yep. Boom, I already got a bonfire. Sweet. Okay, so the cool thing is it casts light, stays active between, but it still resets it at bonfires. So you kind of, you can essentially get four if you preload it right at bonfire and sit right away. Um, so, I don't even know if we have to talk to Patches. I think we already are, uh, because... Did I buy the Giant's Mask? I'm pretty sure I did, which means I did pretty much all the Patches stuff, yeah. I did all the Patches stuff in the last playthrough, so I don't think it was too much. Um... Good day. Yep, what are you doing? Yeah, so, we say... Yes, I guessed it. Oh, did I just say yes to being clear? What is it? <laughs> There's a stash of treasure right down that hole. I found it first, but well, you're the cleric, right? I owe you for all that uh, praying and whatnot. I'll give you first pick. Well, go on, have a look. It'll shimmer you blind. <laughs> I'm actually kind of glad that I did that because I want to demonstrate how much he doesn't like clerics. I mean, he'll do this whether you're, you're a cleric or not, but. Um, Yep, and kick this is patches. Uh, there you go. I'm curious what's gonna happen though when we go back up there. You've got what you deserve. You damn cleric. You're worse than maggots. You must be loaded. I'll strip your corpse clean. I think he's still going to be forgiving, it's just that he won't eventually become a guy to sell uh, stuff to us. Uh, so here's of course the Skull Lantern, which we are not interested in. Uh, what we are interested in um, is Rhea right here. Because we do want to rescue her again. Yeah, my friends are hollows, so please go kill them. It's essentially what she's saying. So the main thing I want to show off with her is what happens if we don't kill Petrus first. Just being that creepy uh, guy at Firelink Shrine. Oh. Ah. Uh, and we'll get to that more when we're actually done with this whole area. But for now, it's not too much. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, that was pretty. So finish him off like that. <laughs> um, so anyway, with them dead, let's talk to her again. You banish those two. It pains me to. I am certain mm, yeah. here. Can we punch him again. Mm. I am certain that. Thank you. Yeah, and she'll just meet us up top. So I'm pretty sure Petrus is still alive. I didn't actually check. Um, I'm gonna assume he is, and then we'll just sort of go from there. So now, um, rather than go all the way. Find my way up. I'm just gonna work back up. Because I'm pretty sure this pit is not actually on the path forward. 
just do this. And um, I'll just quickly demonstrate the bonfire trick. Right, let's see, now I have full two or three minutes of light, however long it lasts, and I still have three, three to cast. So let's go say hello to Patches, let's see what he does. Uh, ah, hello there. Blimey, how did you? You weren't supposed to survive that. Well, no matter. I'll settle this once and for all. You lousy, self-righteous cleric. Oh, oh, yeah, he gets hostile. Ah. All right. Well, I feel like I have to go down <laughs> and fight him. Although, is this drop going to kill me since it's not the cutscene? Probably not. Where'd he go? Dang it. <laughs> there he is. Come here. Alright, yeah, this is going to... What did you ever do? Are you kidding? So we have four whole humanity. Can we get a crescent axe? Wait a minute. Was that from him or was that from Vince and he died here earlier? I guess it was from I mean he uses a wing spear, so I'm curious why we get that from him. Either way, so that's patches if you tell me you're a cleric. Um Obviously, if you don't want to kill him and you want him as a merchant, so you can buy like Things he sells, mainly being the, the pinwheel masks. Don't tell him you're a cleric. <laughs> um, but otherwise, he's pretty chill in my opinion. Um, I mean, he's still a bit of an asshole, but he's not, he's not as bad as so many people make him out to be. Um, he was also, his, I didn't comment on it when he was here, but his face, just with the light on it, is just so <laughs> complete. Too much boom. Um, so here are the doggy dogs. They're also a two shot, but they don't get staggered, which is a little troubling. We do have. Oh, okay, I should show these things off. And the physics on their bones are just extra hilarious, I think. Um, okay, so there should still be a Black Knight. I'm actually going to fight him with the sword. Let's see it. Now, we're definitely in uncharted territory for this. Thank you. Yep, I can hear him coming. Can't see him, but. Definitely around here. And I hope Bone Dog didn't see me. Just want to pull him away from the arrows, please. Oh, yeah, nice, nice combo. Let's bait out an attack and fall back. Just go for a backstab and fail. I've got to heal. Oh man, these guys. Oh boy, oh boy. Woo! Got me. Yeah, it's. I'm a little rusty. <laughs> these Black Knights are hard to fight. They are skilled indeed. Oh, and the light just goes out. So let's try that again. We're close enough. I, I won't bother cutting it out. Um, Oh, that's not the cast light. And as you can see, Soul Spear is basically just like a giant magic missile, so it's nothing too special. It's just like, if you're like min-maxing for intelligence, um, that thing can hit very hard, especially when you get the crystal variant, which will be in the Duke's archives. Um, so I want to go this way, I believe. Alright, I'm going to go for the parries this time. Oh, that's right, this guy's here. Man, these guys are fast. I think, uh, oh yeah, Chaos Fireball is the best way to fight them, but I don't have any of those. Mm. Oh, let's not good. Whoa, whoa. Okay, this is not great. <laughs> Down to three S to slot already. Yeah, let's try getting behind these guys first. Alright. 
This is uh getting a little out of hand. Where's the black knight? Oh, he heard me. <laughs> Oh, is he going down? Yep. Oh, that sucks. That I missed. Okay, I need to chill. Okay, let's get our stamina back. He's almost dead. And that shall hopefully do it. Wait, take my chunk. No halberd, not that we need it. Um, okay, perfect. So, we are making good progress. There's another bonfire somewhere. Okay, here we go. Let's actually try out the soul spear. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's also try out this thing. This might actually be a good way to fight them. So the way this thing works uh, is that it spawns four orbs, and as you just see there, if it touches a wall, it'll go away. But essentially, these things will sort of hover around, and then when you get close, it'll hit something. That. Do that. It went right through his legs. <laughs> right, let's fight this one. Okay, so I did some damage, but not an awful lot. Oh god. Alright, we are not a mage. Let's just accept that. No! <laughs> Alright. Alright. No more magic. I'm just gonna make the executive decision. It's it's uh, not doing much for us. Let's get our handy dandy um, great chaos fireball. Cause that, I'm telling you, it's like just how you fight those <laughs> bone dogs. Uh, still gonna keep cast light because that is very handy right now. The good news is the black knight is at least dead, <laughs> so I don't have to deal with that anymore. But, we do have to deal with the bone dogs. Um, and let's see, this that is not a yeah, fireball. This might not work because it's new game plus. But it does work. Let's go to see. It's the best way to handle those. Because it still would have taken two soul spears, which is uh, not ideal. Oh, here's the archer. He's right up here. Get out of here. You don't know you, man. What's this? Now, I think it's somewhere around here that's like where you can drop down. It's where we got the silver ring, and I think that is technically a shortcut. I just don't know exactly where it is. And I don't feel like falling and dying. So let's just uh, go the traditional route. If we can fight the one dog first. Well, let's also fight more of an extermination. If you ask me. And these guys go down really easy with the sword. Alright, beautiful. Alright, we're making good progress here. We'll be able to um, get Nito this episode. If I'm being a little ambitious. Look, I do really want to find that other bonfire though, because. I'm gonna want it in order to actually get to Nido. Um, let's see. Alright, uh, this is not ideal. We're out of fireballs. <laughs> okay, let's just see if we can get one aggro. Nope, that'd be asking way too much, of course. Yeah, these guys are hard to fight without taking damage. We gotta focus on. Is that a third one? It is. Alright, let's go this way. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we don't even have to fight them. Hey. Where is the bonfire though? That is literally all I care about at this point. Is it 
around here. I feel like this is the way to Nido, and it's a bit early for that. There's a small ladder here. I think that means we're close. Or we might have passed it. I don't know. <laughs> um, once it gets bright, yeah, we've gone too far. All right, back up we go. Yeah, I'm telling you, we, we really want that bonfire. Um, I forget if it's a warpable bonfire. Like, oh, okay, that was kind of nice. I don't think it is. Not that it matters, because like once we're out of here, we are out of here. So I don't think we go that way. We're gonna have to fight these dogs. It's looking like the answer is gonna be yes. All right, let's just get it over. Oh, All right. it's like a blind spot you can approach from. Oh, not quite. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh. <gasps> okay. Let's try this again. Dang, these guys always gave me trouble, but like, this is the first time it's been like this much trouble. Okay, let's, let's, um, I probably should cut, but like, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Um, I feel like I can do this quickly now though. I'm gonna just do a run this time, like right now. Just say so screw fighting them. This is probably gonna go awfully. <laughs> because I, I'm pretty over this. Um, there's this we can drop down to. Where, oh, where is... Alright, that's a one shot, that's nice. Okay, well that's at least working out uh, for us. A little bit. Oh, I thought that was the one chasing you. Yeah, the ones above don't seem to chase you too far. Oh, shh! Okay, never mind. <laughs> Can come down? There's not. Okay, well, <laughs> they will chase you as it turns out. Um, so that's that. Where's the other bonfire? I swear there is another one. Honestly, at this point, like, <laughs> is it really worth it? Like, this wouldn't be that bad of a run. I swear, like, you can see it from the edge or somewhere. Oh, are you kidding me now? A lot of footage for the death montage this episode. Okay, okay. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Bonfires of Lost Bus. We're just, we're just gonna run past them and see how quickly we can get to Nito. Did I have trouble last time finding the bonfire? I feel like I did. I thought, you know what? No. I, I do not accept this. So we're gonna find that bonfire. Okay. This is an enemy you fight not locked on, I think. There we go. Okay, let's heal up. We're, we're gonna clear the area, and then we're going to really take our time to find it. I'll, I'll probably cut some of this footage up. In fact, I might cut it from here, and um, just come back when I find the bonfire. Oh. Oh. Ah, there it is. Oh my god. I found a bonfire, I guess. <laughs> oh, that took way too long. Yeah. You really gotta look every nook and cranny in this place. And I may have, um, I may have looked up a video. <laughs> yep, I, I did it. I'll admit it. I, uh, kind of fixed my reaction there. And I found a path on myself. <laughs> But you know what? I had to look for the video and find it myself, so in a way I found it myself, right? Um, no, that's a stretch. <laughs> okay, either way, we are we're here. We've, we found a way to do it without having to um, I don't even know what I'm going to say. I am ready to finish this area though, is what I'll say. There's no denying that. Get this whatever item in my head for us. Twinkling Titanite. Light Titanite. 
Oh, which I really need. I think there's like some upgrades I can put on some of my stuff. Uh, let's see, I know there's a white titanite slab we can get our hands on. Ow. In the, uh, in the next room, but I don't know if we really need it. I'm just gonna like. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how well this fight's gonna go with Nito. I mean, Nito's one of those bosses that's like. He's challenging, but he's like not that bad. And then, like, battles will be famous last words. Alright, um, I'm not even gonna bother fighting these guys because, like. Why? <laughs> uh, I don't know where to go. This guy's just fine, I'll fight him. If you insist. Do I get a mask? I get nothing. I see, I ain't got no time for that long with death animation. Um, I will mention, if I didn't mention it originally, that you can farm these guys to get the pinwheel masks as well as white titanite slabs, all of which have very, very rare drop rates, so make sure you got your gold ring and 10 humanity. Either way, let's go kill the Lord of the Dead himself and see what we can do. We'll watch a cutscene. Awakened. So, um, you fall and take damage. Before you heal, take a second, make sure he's not casting his spell. Also, make sure you fight him over here on your terms, because otherwise, he'll bring you over to the giant skeletons. That's what you want to listen out for. The big screaming sound. Oh boy. It's looking like the uh, Artorias sword is a holy weapon because these guys are permanently dead. Okay, am I already out of Estus? <laughs> Got one more. So that's good. Um, that means if we did go to the giant skeletons area, we could clear them out and we'll have a little bit more room, but I don't even think it's worth doing that. Just like literally just fight him because <laughs> over here. You know, fighting giant skeletons, even if they're gone permanently, that's still like three more giant skeletons. And then I'd have to fight if I just fight them over here. And yeah, so if you have a holy weapon, this becomes such an easier fight because those three skeletons, uh, if they're not bugging you, he's just so sluggish. And he definitely hits hard, but like this is not bad. Stay nice and close, and you're safe, and boom. Um, I would feel bad, but we went through so much trouble to get the sword that I think we can reap some of its benefits guilt-free. Okay, like I know I'm supposed to be making things super challenging on the second run, I like fighting the iron golem with the fireballs, but I mean, fighting the giant skeletons, you know, is just like asking for trouble. Oh, here, I think you blocking shields the best we can do. Do a nice cool little backflip there. Estus, so let's start to wrap this up. Okay, on two. I think we can get it. Yeah, let's do the strong attack. Boom! And that's a Mito. That's a wrap. Easy peasy. Not too easy, I mean, we had way too much trouble <laughs> getting to this point, if I'm being honest. Got our Lord Soul, got our humanity, looking very nice. Um, so yeah, that's 120,000 souls as well. It's enough for one level, <laughs> but that's one more level than we had. So let's do that, and then we'll call it a wrap. So we'll up, get to our 40 intelligence. That's cool. That's a nice milestone. And I think we have enough. We need. We need 10,000 more souls, and then we can get another little put in faith. 
Um, I'm curious to see if I'll hit my goal of my final build, which would be having 40-40 for Intelligence and Faith. So we're definitely in the home stretch. Um, nothing critical we need, it's just some more faith that we can use some more miracles if we want. But you know, seeing how badly spells flopped, I don't expect the, um, the miracles to flop any less. So I think Soldier here is actually 10,000. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. And I did check the hundreds, we should have enough. And for once, we actually did exactly what we needed for our soul item. That, 29 faith, we are 11 souls away from next level. You know, the idea being level 125 is ideal for PvP, but like, let's be honest, there, there will be no, there will be no PvP. I have to tell you what, tell you what. When all is said and done, I might look up for some PvP hotspots, or I'll go to like the arena mode and see if I can at least get some fights in. <laughs> Because y'all have been robbed pretty badly on the series. I, I'll, have to, I'll have to give you that. But anyway, that's enough. We'll, we'll call it a wrap here. This was part 58, I believe. So, thank you guys for watching. We'll do a prayer. And I'll see you in the next episode.